Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to insert radio button values into MySQL PHP My Admin database. And here we got the panel output. We got the header, two radio button Apple and Mango, and button control cell. I'm selecting the Mango. Before saving this button, let's check. Right now, this fruit table contains zero rows. Let's insert the mango. Save. And here we got the message mango is saved successfully. Let's add the apple. Save. Apple is saved successfully. Oops. Let me sign in. Sample DB tables fruits see here we got the results fruit id fruit name mango and apple let's add mango once again mango is saved successfully i'm browsing the table see mango if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, first we'll create a table in MySQL PHP My Admin database. I'm creating a table in the sample DB database. I'm, I'm browsing the sample DB. SQL create table fruits. The column name is fruit id which is an integer data type not null auto increment column primary key the second column is a fruit name varchar 50 let's create the table click go fruits table is created right now this fruits table contains zero rows now let's add some values into this table using radio buttons in ASP.NET. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project. I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Save Radio Button values my sql click ok i'm selecting the empty template click ok and the project is created successfully open solution explorer i'm creating a new web form page in this project right click the project name add new item I'm selecting web form. The web form name is insert radio values. Click add. And here we got the source page of the newly created insert radio values web page. Now I'm adding the center tag between the form and due tags. Center tag H1. How to insert values from radio button into MySQL PHP My Admin database. Horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I am adding two radio button controls, one button control and one label control to display the message. Open toolbox. Radio button. The first radio button, I am adding text property is equals to. Our table name is a fruit, so I am adding the apple. Copy this one. This here. and second radio button the fruit name is a mango
the next control I'm adding the button control button control I'm changing the text property of the button save break and the last control I'm adding the label control to display the message of in toolbox label control I'm deleting the text property from the label control that's it we have done the designing part now switch to the design mode double click the button control save it will generate the button click event now first I'm adding the namespaces using system dot data using system dot configuration the last namespace I'm adding the mysql.dll library by default in asp.net mysql.dll library is not available in our project references folder so we need to install first mysql.dll library open solution explorer I'm expanding the references folder notice there is no any mysql.data.dll library let's add that one right click the references folder manage nudget packages click that one browse I'm searching for mysql enter and from the search results the first option is a mysql.data click that one and the version of the data library is 8.0.12 install click ok I accept and here we got a message successfully installed mysql.data.dll library is added into our project and also notice there is a tick mark which means this library is installed successfully in our project references folder let's close this one switch to the code behind solution explorer in the references folder notice the mysql.data is added now let's add this DLL library using mysql.data.mysql client after adding these three namespaces now the next step is I have to add the mysql connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references folder web.config file open that one in the web.config file after configuration I'm adding connection string add name is equals to my SQL connection connection string in the connection string I am adding the data source of the mysql php my admin so the first parameter is the data source is equals to localhost semicolon the second one is the port number to find out the port number of the mysql notice at the top server mysql 3306 is our port number the next parameter is the initial catalog the initial catalog takes the database name our database name is a sample DB let's add that one sample DB the next parameter is a user ID which is a root password The password I'm leaving blank because I don't have any password to log in to my SQL PHP my admin. If you have any password, please enter that one. And the last one is very important SSL mode is equals to none. If you don't add this SSL mode is equals to none in this data source, you will face an error at runtime. After adding the MySQL connection string in the web.config file, switch to the code behind. In the button click event string fruit is equals to 
string dot empty if radio button one dot check fruit is equals to mango apple so the first one is the apple else if radio button two dot check fruit is equals to mango string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double calls I am adding MySQL connection string which is MySQL connection pasting here dot connection string MySQL connection SQL con is equals to new MySQL connection which takes this object main con string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is the insert statement insert into the table name is fruits the fruit name column is a fruit name values at fruit name MySQL command SQLcom is equals to new MySQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a command text SQL query and the second object is a connection which is a SQL call let's close the connection SQLcom dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value add with value method takes two parameters the first one is a string at this fruit name the column name of the table comma and the second parameter is the object value we are getting the object value from the radio button we have two radio button controls so go to design more source let's add the group name fruit copy this one after adding the group name to this radio button controls switch to the code behind fruit dot to string method SQL com dot execute non query method after executing the statement once the radio button value is inserted into our table I want to display the message for that I have added the label control label one dot text is equals to h1 plus plus I'm adding fruit name I'm closing h1 tag is saved successfully let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results Google Chrome And here we got the panel output, we got the header, two radio button apple and mango and button control save. I'm selecting the mango. Before saving this button, let's check. Right now this fruit table contains zero rows. Let's insert the mango. Save. And here we got the message mango is saved successfully. Let's add the apple. Save. Apple is saved successfully. 
oops let me sign in sample db tables fruits see here we got the results fruit id fruit name mango and apple let's add mango once again mango is saved successfully i'm browsing the table see mango that's it